La Liga Representative in Tanzania. Mi ni mwakilishi wa La Liga Tanzania Rwanda na Burundi. Tuko katika hatua za kutia sign katika makubaliano yatakayojumuisha utendaji dhidi ya TFF na bodi ya Ligi ya Tanzania. Uh, management skills uh, development. So I've been talking to uh, Almasi Kashongo and Mr. the President Wallace Karia uh, for capacitation which means like um Nimezungumza uh, na Rais wa TFF Wallace Karia na pia mtendaji mkuu wa bodi ya ligi ya Tanzania Almasi Kasongo kwa ajili ya kiutendaji kwa peleka Spain hii wiki nzima kwa ajili ya kimazungumzo na kiutendaji ili waweze kujiridhisha juu ya uongozi na uwezo wa la liga kwa ajili ya kutupa ushirikiano na siweza kutoa nafasi kwa ili ya vijana wa hapa Tanzania ili kuweza kuwa nasa vijana wenye uwezo na vipaji kwa peleka Spain kwa majaribio. We are very concerned about young stars here in Tanzania. So our ideal scenario will be like developing an academy here. We are trying to find the proper partner for this. We are also in conversations with Zanzibar to host a youth Tournament, international tournament, okay. But also, uh, we've been talking to uh, well to a club that I cannot say now uh, about for for bringing um, a youth uh, star uh, to Spain for some trials in some clubs and see if uh, they will the, the player has the chance to to be signed by one La Liga club. Hivi karibuni uh, tunategemea so, makubaliano uh, hayo yatapata hat mazuri ya utiaji uh, sain. Na pia tunategemea kuleta maendeleo ya soka la vijana kwa Tanzania bodi ya ligi na pia vilabu vya ligi kuu. In Europe. In Africa we all know that uh, there is like scouts they can buy. but in Europe I think there is a, a bit of uh, it's a bit challenging for Tanzania to show the talent here. Uh, not only in first division but on youth categories. There is no like um, under 17 under 15 proper leagues in the country and the talent is there so we have to work on this and we are more than willing to help out the TFF and the TPL board uh, to, to work on this matter so on the other side we will also try to show the talent in Spain find the right partner I mean you know that the land is owned by the government so we've been in conversations with the government we will we've been in conversations also to uh, not with another academies even with clubs or even with the TFF, and it's something that we all desire, but we need investment. Okay, uh, it's un it's under our plans, and we hopefully we. Tunendelea kuongea na serikali kuendelea kuekeza zaidi hasa kwenye soka la vijana ambao tunamini wanavipaji vingi. Kuhusu soka la wanawake hatujawekeza kwenye soka la wanawake lakini nataka niwahakishie kwamba kule Spain kuna wanawake ambao wana uwezo mkubwa sana inawezekana baadaye tukaja kuongea na TFF lakini pia bodi ya ligi ikiwezekana na wao tuweze kuwasaidia we're going to um, instruct uh, the TFF and the TPL in Madrid in Spain how to perform a proper or a even a more professional uh, female league uh, yeah, but you know, the referees in Spain, they are under the federation. And uh, in, in Spain, La Liga and the federation, they have like different duties, different responsibilities. They are autonomy. They have an autonomy between each other. It's not like here, like the TFF and the TPL, they work together. I uh, will be lying if I say, no, it's, it's fine. No, uh, we, don't, we, don't want to, we don't want to lose the best players. And that's something that... Um, we all know in our house in La Liga. Um, we still don't know. We, we still cannot measure the impact in, in terms of audiences. When it comes to revenues and TV rights, we can assure that there is no impact because we just we just sold last year, um, mostly internationally speaking, all the rights to the different broadcasters, internationally speaking.